Hey yo, what is up? I thought I'd make a quick video for you guys today. And uh, today I am doing a video of this tank, which is the Alf Clarungs Panther number no. 5, which is actually a light tank in tier 7. Now, why am I doing a video for, the, for, uh, for you guys today about this tank? Well, the reason is because this tank is rumored. There has been a leak and rumored to be in one of the um it's going to be one of the black market sales tanks that's right now according to the leak this is not just one of the the sales tanks it is going to be the the what the one second second third it's going to be the fourth tank that's going to be on sale so We've had the TL1 LPC that was in auction on the first day. And then the second tank is supposed to be the Progetto. The third tank is supposed to be the 50 TP. And the Alf Clarungs Panther is supposed to be the fourth tank that's going to be on sale. Um, now it's also been pictured uh, with yellow lights in the sale you know in one of the sales pictures and the yellow lights means that it's going to be a, well it, the signal is it's going to be on sale for gold as an auction tank so the rumor is this tank is going to be auctioned for gold and it's going to be the fourth tank so you heard it here first um, the TL1 LPC is the first tank. This is going to be the fourth tank and it's going to be auctioned off for gold. Now we're going to look at the stats of this tank uh, for you guys so that uh, you have an idea what you are getting into. Now uh, this tank's been uh, this tank's been in the test server for a while now. They have buffed it, they have nerfed it, they've done a bunch of things to this tank um, but they finally settled on uh, some of the stats that's, uh, that I'm going to share with you today. Uh, first of all, it is a light tank, tier 7. And uh, it's right off the bat, I'm just going to tell you, this tank has got amazing stats for what it is. Now, uh, this I'm rushing out this video out for you guys because um, I did not think this is... I did not think this tank was going to come out for sale uh, in the black market, but uh, the rumor, if the rumor is correct, if the leaks are correct, uh, this is coming out as a black market tank. So I want to get out uh, all the information to you guys as quick as possible. Now, again, this is an amazing tank if the stats are correct. Uh, you're going to have um, 1050 hit points on this tank, 850 horsepower, the power, um, the power to weight ratio on this tank is absolutely amazing. It's 22.28. 22.28 8 means this tank is going to be extremely agile. It's going to wiggle left, right, and uh, the top speed on this tank, 55 kilometers an hour going forward, 22 kilometers an hour going backwards. That is absolutely insane. This thing will be fast, agile. It's going to be like a tank on wheels, but this is going to be tier 7. It is going to be highly competitive. Uh, also, the... Um, um, the hull traverse on this tank is 41 degrees 0 0.72 which means this thing can shift amazingly well this tank this tank is going to be very agile very mobile very fast um, when I say very fast 55 kilometers an hour isn't exactly like super top speed but it has the power to weight ratio that's going to get it to 55 kilometers an hour absolutely very quickly um, the view range it was nerfed from 400 meters to 380 so that is what we are expecting the view range going to be 380 meters view range now because this is a light tank don't expect anything from the armor how armor uh, how armor 85 millimeters in the front 
The turret armor, 50 millimeters in the front, it's going to be absolutely nothing. Anything can can shoot through it, but this is an absolutely beautiful tank. I love the Panther hull. I love the tiny turret. I loved it in the past, even though I was a terrible player in it, and I'm probably going to love it in the future. I have no doubt about it. But anyway, this is what I'm expecting out about this tank. It's got a small damage gun, only 135 uh, penetration, um, uh, 135 damage, sorry, uh, 135 damage per shot. But there's some good news, even though it's only a 135 damage per shot, um, you've got standard penetration of 157 in a tier 7 light tank and 205 penetration with the uh, premium shells which I'm going to assume it's going to be APCR uh, average damage per minute 1625 1625 and that's because you've got very fast reload time under 5 seconds reload time 4.99 seconds reload time it's going to be really fast so the reload time is going to be so amazing that you are probably not going to need a gun rammer that is my philosophy anyway so without gun rammer you could probably run other things like um, improved vents you could run vents optics and binoculars if you want so you can run binocular telescope and optics at the same time so that you can play um, you can be an active scout or you can be a passive scout. It's going to be absolutely amazing. A uh, gun rammer is absolutely not necessary. I'll tell you what else is not necessary, but you're going to have to decide this for yourself. That is the vertical stabilizer. My argument for the vertical stabilizer, you, I don't think you need a vertical stabilizer for this tank because the dispersion is absolutely insane listen to this the dispersion for this tank 0 0.20 dispersion the accuracy um for this tank is going to be out of this world 0 0.20 i have not seen many tanks with this kind of dispersion 0 0.20 dispersion means uh, the accuracy is going to be like a laser it's going to be so freaking accurate it's not going to even be funny. Uh, you're going to be trolling people because you're not going to miss your shots. What else is amazing about this tank? The aim time. Aim time is 1.53 seconds. So what you don't need is vertical stabilizers. What you don't need is rammers because you can reload under 5 seconds. What can you put on your tank to improve your tank? If you don't need vertical stabilizers, if you don't need, um, if you don't need rammers, you could put turbo, you could put optics, you could put binocular telescope. You can have the ultimate view range, both on the move and while camping in a bush. And then you have, if you want to put turbo, you can put turbo and have already an amazing agility and speed you can get it up to even quicker speed and get into uh, get into positions even faster with the turbo so uh, i'm not saying that is what i'm going to use but i'm saying there's going to be an option for you to play those kinds of equipment if you wanted to um, just because this gun is going to be so freaking amazing the gun is amazing agility is amazing now what is not amazing I have some a little bit of a bad a little bit of bad news for you. It's not that bad, but it's pretty bad for a light tank. Um, the camo isn't that great. You only have um, 11.69 um, camo flash value. That means you are talking about um, if you have camo crew, if you have all the skills that you need for camo flash rating. If you if you have the best crew. Your camo is going to be somewhere in the region of 23-25% camo rating. That is not very good camo rating for a tier 7 tank. Most tanks, um, all the good all the good light tanks in tier 7, like maybe a 1357, um, it's going to have like 
close to 40% camo rating, 35, 40% camo rating. They are going to own you in terms of camouflage uh, because a lot of tanks are like smaller because uh, you know, tier 7 light tanks are usually kind of small. So you're going to have a problem um, with camouflage values. So that's the only downside of this tank is the camouflage values. Other than that, all the all the gun handling, agility, um, the dispersion, dispersion on the move, dispersion while rotating your turret, dispersion while rotating your hull, gun is going to be absolutely amazing, reload is going to be absolutely amazing, um, and the mobility is going to be absolutely amazing. So, I don't know about you man, I'm definitely getting this tank. If they're going to auction this tank for gold, I'm going to sus I'm going to suspect I'm going to pay more than 10,000 gold for this tank if I'm going to win it at auction. I'm going to set aside 15,000 gold for this tank in auction. I hope I get it. I'm going to play the hell out of this tank. I can guarantee you this for sure because I used to love this tank even when it was in the tech tree just because it was a fantastic tank for uh, ramming your enemies. Uh, it was really good at ramming for a light tank and I suspect that it's going to be very good for ramming uh, in 2021 as well. I hope as you are ex as excited as I am for this tank. Uh, also, in case you want to know, the T22 a medium tank tier 10 medium tank is slated to be on sale in black market as well as a credit auction tank so i suspect it's going to auction for something like 20 million 30 million credits for the t22 medium tank so good luck to you guys i uh, hope this video finds you well and uh, see you on the next video bye bye